Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Echo Show 5 second generation from Amazon. All right, so what we have here is the Echo Show 5. This is the second generation. First generation came out in 2019, second generation came out last year in 2021. Uh, so the price on this currently is $34.99. Uh, they normally run $84.99. Comes in three different colors, uh, deep sea blue, charcoal, and glacier white. I do have the deep sea blue and the uh, charcoal here. And you can also save a little bit more if you wanna trade in an old one. So if you do have an old one, that's what I did. I traded in, you get 25% off right off the cuff. And then um, depending on what device you are trading in, you can get 10, 20 bucks, and they'll give you that instantly to put toward the new device. So if you're looking for a new one, uh, that's definitely something to look into. Uh, so these are great as alarm clocks. You can use these to watch video, use them for video chat, use them for your smart home, or to listen to music, a uh, bunch of different functions. And of course, has Amazon Alexa on there so she can answer your questions if you do have any questions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So we'll take a look at the deep sea blue model first. As you can see from the front, it does look like it's a pretty subtle blue, but on the front, of course, we have Echo Show 5. We have a picture of the device itself. And of course, Alexa on the side, it tells you some more specs here. Uh, has a 5.5 inch touchscreen, two megapixel camera with built-in shutter, Bluetooth, hands-free, um, and microphone and camera on off button. It tells you what's in the box, of course. You get the Echo Show 5 power adapter, and it says setup is simple and requires Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what is inside. A little pull tab on the back, opens up, and we of course have our Echo Show 5 says hello, Echo Show 5, and then important information. And then we do have our power plug and it is a white 15 watt and it looks like it uses a barrel plug. All right, now we'll open up the charcoal model. Uh, so as you can see, the only difference really here is just the picture of the Echo Show on the front and the unboxing experience should be exactly the same. So on the top, we do have our Echo Show 5 here in charcoal have the same documentation, and we have the uh, white power plug. And taking a look here, you can see the difference between the blue and the charcoal. It's actually a really nice blue, and that blue goes around the frame as well. On the top, you can see we have our mic off button, we have microphones, uh, two of them at the top. We have our volume up and down, and then we have that camera shutter. On the front, you can see we do have that 5.5 inch display along with the camera. And on the bottom, of course, you can see uh, the rubber feet. Now you can also buy a stand for this. It's $13.99. And one thing I do want to test is if the stand for the first one works with the second one, because I believe these are pretty identical. And let's just do a quick comparison between the first and second generation. Uh, so these are both the charcoal model. So uh, you'd really be hard pressed to figure out which one is which um, based on this view here. They are the same exact footprint. Um, you can see the button layout is exactly the same. The microphone layout is exactly the same. On the front, it's a little bit of a different story. Uh, you can actually tell that the first generation has the circular uh, camera with shutter while the second generation is square. So that's one way to uh, figure out which one is which. Side profile is exactly the same. The bottom looks very similar, although on the charcoal on the second generation, uh, it is a black rubber foot versus gray. A little bit different. Uh, it does look like the size is a little bit different here for the insert for the stand. Now, one thing to note here on the back is that they removed the headphone jack. You have the uh, power plug, you have a uh, micro USB, and then uh, it's just completely removed on the new one. If you use that, stick with the first generation because this second generation does not have that. Now the stand, uh, you can buy again for $13.99 for the new one. Uh, it basically just attaches with a magnet and it does move uh, up and down and it just lifts it a little bit higher. Uh, it's a nice little stand. So this is one from the first generation. And here's our second generation, Echo Show 5, and it does appear that it will work. So if you have a first generation and you trade it in for the second generation, you can keep your stand because it will still work. And that's another thing to note too, is they do have trade-in deals on these. So uh, you get 25% off if you trade your old one in for a new one. Uh, definitely worth it if you're interested in doing that. All right, I have the two Echo Show 5s uh, booted up here. Just wanna show you the difference here between the two. Now, when you buy one of these, if you're buying it for yourself under your own Amazon account, there's a selection where you can have it register automatically. So when you buy it, it'll automatically register to your account. 
Otherwise, it will not register and you'll have to go through everything manually. So as you can see, the difference here is uh, this one I got for Christmas uh, last year and this one I purchased myself. So as you can see, it gives a message saying that this is registered to me. If that's you, tap yes, and then it'll add it to my account and that's a much easier way to do it. And then this one you have to go through manually uh, to add. So if I hit yes, that's me. So here it's gonna ask for the time zone. That's correct. And that's gonna show my address. And uh, if that's correct, we're gonna hit continue. And then uh, it says, which room is this going to go in? And so we have different groups of uh, different places or common groups you can put this in. So here you can choose your clock and photo display. So you can choose from your Amazon photos, seasonal, nature, travel, art, flora. Flora is the default. So we'll go with nature and then we'll hit continue. And now it's gonna do an update here. So it says device updates are available. Your Echo Show will be updated to the latest software. It can take up to 10 minutes. So we'll hit download and install here. Now, as you can see, that didn't take very long at all to register. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the second one. We're gonna register this one. So as you can see, it starts with language. I'm gonna go to English. Hello, ready for setup. Now the second generation is asking me to connect to a network. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. And now we come to a screen here where it's asking for the Amazon account. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, type in our Amazon account information. All right, now that I've entered my Amazon account, you can see it's now registered to me. So we can hit continue, and now we should go through the same uh, menus that we were going through on the uh, one that was already registered. So as you can see, we are confirming our time zone. All right, now we're back with the first one. So uh, we get this prompt here. It says, Echo Show can help monitor your home. Allow members of your household to live stream this Echo Show anytime, anywhere through the Alexa app and connected devices, such as uh, another Echo Show. An indicator will appear when someone in your household is streaming the camera. I personally am not too fond of this feature. Uh, however, if you have kids or anything like that, and you want to keep an eye on them, you can definitely enable this. You also have, of course, the shutter on the top where you can shut that off. So you can see it says, back. It says camera Let's continue. Off. So we can hit enable or not enable. I'm going to say not now. Not really a fan of that feature. Uh, and as you can see, the other one just uh, updated also. Uh, we also have Amazon Sidewalk which is a shared network that help, helps devices work uh, better together. Uh, Sidewalk can help your compatible devices automatically connect or reconnect to your router. It can also extend the coverage for Sidewalk enabled devices such as rings, smart lights, and pet and object trackers so they can stay connected and continue to work over longer distances. Uh, uses a small portion of your internet bandwidth to provide these services to you and your neighbors. This setting will apply to all your supported Echo and Ring devices that are linked to your Amazon account. You can update this setting at any time. So uh, if you have devices all around your house and maybe they don't get the greatest uh, access where they are, so for example, like they mentioned the ring, um, you might have that by your front door, your router may be in your office or maybe in a bedroom further back in your house and maybe it doesn't get as good of coverage. So uh, this will help that. So that's kind of a nice feature. We'll go ahead and keep that. All right, uh, this is make this device child friendly with Amazon Kids. Make your Echo Show child friendly. Automatically filter explicit content, set bedtime limits, and review activity. Allow independence with calling and video chat only on approved Alexa content. So I don't have kids, so I'm going to say no to this, but they also do have a kid version of the Echo Show 5 that costs a little bit more, has kid friendly um, features like this. But if you do happen to buy one of these, you can make it basically an Amazon Kids version. So we'll say no to that. All right, we get uh, get the most Echo Show. Play any song, just ask for only four ninety nine a month for Amazon Music. So uh, that's honestly a pretty good deal compared to some of the other services. So um, Apple Music, Spotify are about ten bucks or more, um, and it's only five bucks. So that's pretty nice. You also have a thirty day free trial. I'm gonna say no to that. I already have Spotify. Uh, we get an Audible. So of course that's a free free thirty day trial, or you can uh, pay fourteen ninety five per month for that. So we're gonna say no thanks to that also. And we get a little nice chime. This device is ready. And it lets us know that it is now ready. So now I have both of our Echo Show 5 set up. Now initially when this came up, it does give you a guided tutorial on how to use Alexa. It gives you a couple of uh, sample uh, questions to ask it and you get an answer. So they had translation, finding restaurants, that kind of thing. And then as you can see, we do have a couple of different advertisements showing up on here. And this is just some different things you can do with it. So you can ask these questions, you can watch video on these. So we can just swipe down and see our options that we have here. So we have uh, home. So anytime you wanna go home, you can either tell her you wanna go home or you can just hit the home button here. We have our settings. We have a do not disturb. We have our brightness. You can adjust that if you need to. Your notifications. So you may get a notification when a package is delivered or if someone tries to reach you on the Echo Show. 
We have our alarms. So if you have a couple of alarms, you can go in here and set that, or you can tell it to set it if you need to. We have our discovery, communicate, music, smart home. We have video, routines, and active media. You can actually go into the video section here, and that will take you into this selection where we have a bunch of different choices. So uh, we have Prime Video, Netflix, Tubi, YouTube, Bing, TikTok, um, and then you have different categories down here at the bottom as well. If you click that, that'll show you from multiple sources. So it's pretty nice here. Now, you also have music, so you can hit music here. You can connect your Spotify to this. So as you can see, it's showing uh, different selections from my Spotify because I've connected that previously. If you use Amazon Music or another music service, it will show that there. If we wanna go into the Discovery tab, this will take us in here and we can see uh, different things that may show up on the home screen. So uh, show me how to create a group, tips and tricks. We have an Alexa tip, easy, tr uh, easy trick for um, a 30 minute timer. Give me self care tips, open song pop, and you can go through here and see what's popular uh, right now. You can go down here and you can try different skills that they have available. So you can also find these in the Alexa app if you wanted to on your phone and uh, you can also see what else she can do. If we go back over here, if we go to the smart home section, you'll see anything you've added that is uh, part of your smart home. So uh, I do have a bunch of devices already. So I have my old ring doorbell, I have a uh, living room light, you have the different groups that you've made previously. And in here you can also turn these on or off if you'd like to. And of course you can tell her to do that as well. Uh, we can go into our settings here and see what options we have available. So we have our Bluetooth, you can connect Bluetooth devices. We have our network if you need to change the wireless network, your profile and family, home and clock. So you can go in here and change different things. You can actually go into the home content. And this is where you can go in and uh, change what shows up on the screen. So as you can see, a lot of things are selected uh, right off the bat. So if you wanna kind of reduce what shows up and really just show more of the photos, I'd go in here and uh, remove a lot of these because as you can see, the majority of these options are selected. So you're gonna have a bunch of stuff to show up. So if you want it to be a little bit more minimalistic and just show photos and maybe the weather, I would definitely go through the home content tab here and remove a bunch of stuff so that it won't show a bunch of junk. You also have a night mode here. Um, that's gonna turn on by default, but if you're using this in your bedroom, turn this on. You can also schedule it. So if you want it to turn off at a certain time, if you go to sleep during the day and you have a night job, go in here and schedule that and it will turn it to that night mode at the specific times that you want it to, uh, which is nice, so you can schedule that. You can also turn on the 24 hour clock if you'd like to, and then you can go in here and adjust your photos. So say you add a photo album in Amazon Photos, you can go in here and you can change that or you can change between the pre-selected ones that they have available. So there's a lot you can do here. And that's just a, a brief overview of the Echo Show 5's options. Unfortunately, there's no way to take a selfie like you can on the Echo Show 8, so I just want to show you the video quality here. So this is a 2 megapixel camera, and I was having some issues with uh, sound reverberation here because I was using both of them in the same room. But that's just to give you an idea of the video quality. Not great, but it will do the job on this 5.5 inch display. And just to give you a quick video sample here, I do have a video or a movie from Tubi to show you here. So I'll give you kind of an idea of what to expect here. So you can use this to watch various services. They have Prime Video, Netflix, Tubi. Um, you can also watch YouTube on the web, use the Amazon Silk browser. Uh, but as you can see, uh, looks pretty good. And of course we do have some controls here so we can go through a little bit into the movie. Give you an idea of how that's gonna look. So it looks pretty decent, of course. Uh, you know, this is a pretty tiny display, so you probably wouldn't want to watch a whole movie on here. But if you want to watch a show or something um, while you're in your office or watch a quick YouTube video, it's uh, pretty enjoyable, pretty decent looking display. And then our viewing angles, they are a pretty reflective display as you can see here, but viewing angles are pretty decent on this. And just to give you a quick idea of the sound quality on the Echo Show 5, uh, these do get fairly loud, have decent sound, so I'll go ahead and give you a quick sample uh, from this video here.
right, guys, so there you have it. A quick unboxing and look at the Echo Show uh, 5 second generation. So is this a massive upgrade over the first generation? No. Is it worth upgrading over the first generation? I'm going to also say no. If you get a great deal on these, yes. But really, when you compare them, apples to oranges, they're really not that big of a difference between the two generations. So you have the same exact design, you have the same screen on the front, same processor even, the speakers sound about the same as well, you have a difference in the camera, one megapixel versus two on the new one, so if video calling is that important to you, then that'll make a difference. But other than that, really not a huge difference over the first generation. Um, I got these because I got a decent deal. I got this one for Christmas last year. This one was actually a good deal. Um, if you trade it in, you get 25% off right off the bat. And then they were offering $20 for the first generation to get the second generation. So it made it nearly free. It was, I think, only six or seven bucks to upgrade to the second generation. So if you want the new one, um, do the trade-in. Makes it well worth it. They're also on sale for $34.99, minus 25%, minus the 20 bucks you'll get for the old one when you trade it in. Yeah, so that makes it worth it to me. Um, hopefully the third generation, when that comes out, maybe that'll come out next year, um, that'll be even better or a bigger redesign from what this is. But um, I'm really partial to the deep sea blue color. I think it looks really, really nice. But other than that, there you go. And uh, if you guys are interested in this, I'll leave the link down below. And again, if you have the stand for the first generation, it will work on the second generation. Don't go buy a new stand. You don't have to. You can use the first generation. Uh, you also can use the existing power adapter because they're both 15 watts, both the same size, so no difference there. Uh, and one, I don't know why these are white, it's just such a weird design choice. I know I've said that multiple times in the video, but just really weird Amazon, make them color coordinated. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.